Hi guys, Cole here from Fast Bikes Magazine and we're here in Nice riding Zero's new SRS. So before you start, yes, it is electric. Uh, I know a lot of you are already going to be moaning about that, but if you can put that aside for one second, it is actually a really good bike. And it is a bike, it feels like a bike, you jump on it and, all right, it's got no clutch, it's got no gears, it's, it's got no filler cap, but it's got some go. Like It's, it's got 110 horsepower, which, is, which isn't a massive figure, especially when it's nigh on 230 kilos, but it does have a whopping 190 newton meters of torque and that is available as soon as you twist your wrist. So pretty much from the throttle to the back tyre it's like a 1-1 throttle connection. There's no waiting for it, any slack to pick up, there's no chain, there's no, like, there's nothing, it just, it's just instantaneous. And it's, it's quite a strange feeling, it's almost like you've got a supercharger or a rocket bolted on. It does weigh a fair bit, it's, it's just a, a touch under 230 kilos, but it's got really low seat height, so you don't quite feel it. We've done a load of roads around mountains here in Nice, and to be honest, it handles lovely. Like The brakes are good, the suspension's good, it's got a shed load of rider modes, you can have up to 10 customizable ones. So it's got all the sort of stuff that you'd want, One thing that obviously a lot of people are going to wonder about is the charge and pretty much the distance you can get out of it. We, it, it will do 100 miles easily. If you go for the top of the range model, it will get up to 95% charge in just under an hour. So that's, that's not too bad when you think about it. One thing that is going to look bad is the price. So for a UK market, yes, you get 1500 quid off a government grant, but even so, for the basic entry level model which doesn't have the heated grips and like the nice bar ends and stuff you're looking at just over 18 grand which is a lot of money by anyone's standards but zero said that this is offset purely on servicing and expendables so you're not paying for fuel you're not paying for engine rebuild service intervals like they're saying that the belt will go for thousands of almost 20,000 kilometers um just after one check when you look at it that way, when you're, when you're paying upwards of 16 grand for a, a 1290 Super Duke GT and then you're spending two, three, four, five grand over 20,000 kilometres, it's, it's neither here nor there. We spent the day on it, but pick up the full magazine to find out what we thought of it. <laughs> 